Moses, 1391-1271 BC, an Egyptian prince who grew to become the chief and prophet of the Jewish humans, taking them from slavery in Egypt throughout the Red Sea to Mount Sinai. On Mount Sinai, Moses acquired the Ten Commandments, which structure a necessary foundation of the Old Testament and the Torah. The lifestyles of Moses is challenged to historic debate. There are constrained sources, such as independent written money owed and archaeological evidence. The biblical narrative of Moses's existence is located in Exodus. According to Exodus, Moses used to be born all through a time when the Egyptian pharaoh was once oppressing the Israelites. This was once roughly 1,000 years after. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like it. After the first prophet Abraham. At the time, the Egyptian pharaoh feared the Israelites would develop in electricity and compete with his power. The pharaoh had declared that all male-born Hebrew adolescents would be drowned in the river Nile. Legend states, flow down the river. Her new child son was once luckily located by means of the pharaoh's daughter who adopted him and gave the Egyptian title of Moses which means to be born, a son. As the adopted son of the pharaoh's daughter, Moses was once accorded royal status, and he grew to become an effective prince. However, he used to be sympathetic to the plight of the Hebrew slaves. One day he noticed an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, Moses, in turn, killed the Egyptian. After this, he feared for his security and fled into the wilderness, Midian. In the desolate tract Moses lived a pretty ascetic life, working as a shepherd. He married Zipporah, the daughter of the priest of Midian. While working as a shepherd, Moses heard the voice of God. Coming from a flaming bush, that did no longer burn. The historical scriptures say Moses was once instructed through God that he ought to return to Egypt to carry his chosen humans out of slavery and into the promised land. Moses expressed reluctance, fearing humans wouldn't accept as true with him, and it would be too difficult. Who am I, that I need to go unto Pharaoh, and that I Need to carry forth the young people of Israel out of Egypt? 311, KJV. But, Moses did return to Egypt to demand the freedom of the Israelites. Fear not, for God has come to show you, and that his concern might also be earlier than your faces, that ye sin not. 2020, KJV. When the Pharaoh refused to provide freedom to the Israelites' ten plagues have been dispatched to Egypt. On the remaining plague, the plague of the firstborn, all firstborn sons would die. Except the door was once marked with a crimson go, a pass drawn with the blood of a sacrificed lamb. Only after this final plague did the Pharaoh relent. As Moses used to be main the Hebrews. Away from Egypt, the pharaoh had an exchange of coronary heart and dispatched his navy to smash the Hebrews. It appeared that the Israelites would be trapped by way of the Red Sea. But, in accordance to Exodus, the Red Sea used to be miraculously parted, permitting Moses to lead the Israelites to security and then the sea closed in, destroying the Egyptian army. This breakout from Egypt is celebrated by way of Jews in the competition of Passover. Moses led Israelites to Mount Sinai the place he received, on behalf of Israel the Torah or law. It renewed the Israelites' covenant with God, at the start begun with Abraham. From these laws, Moses instituted non-secular customs, legal guidelines and the priesthood. To Orthodox Jews, Moses is known as Moshe Rabinu. Described as our leader Mo. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like it. Moshe, servant of God, and father of all the prophets. It is from the time of Moses that Judaism grew to be a greater sincerely described, organized faith with set non secular practices.
Moses is honored as the lawgiver of Israel, and he is responsible for the covenant, Exodus chapters 19 to 24, which consists of the Ten Commandments as properly as different legal guidelines and customs. The Ten Commandments is given in Exodus chapter 20 and Deuteronomy chapter 5. Thou shalt have no different gods earlier than me thou shalt no longer make unto thee any graven image thou shalt now not take the identify of the Lord thy God. In vain remember the Sabbath day and preserve it holy honor thy father and thy mother thou shalt no longer kill thou shalt no longer commit adultery thou shalt no longer steal thou shalt now not undergo false witness in opposition to thy neighbor thou shalt no longer covet something that is thy neighbor's Moses's laws and customs are additionally protected in the book of Leviticus Deuteronomy and the book of Numbers these books of the Old Testament have been dated to about 538 532 BC while Moses used to be on the mountain receiving commandments from God the Israelites feared he would now not return. Because of this fear, Moses's brother Aaron made a golden calf to symbolize God's presence, and the humans begin worshipping this. On his return, Moses symbolically smashed the stone drugs which comprise the Ten Commandments and burnt the golden calf. He insisted that God be worshipped barring form. A key factor of Moses's spiritual management was once the merchandising of a monotheistic religion. The Roman historian Tacitus, 56 to 120 AD, later noted that Moses used to be influential. Due to the fact of Moses, Tacitus writes that pagan mythology fell into contempt. Moses desired to lead his humans into the fertile region of Canaan, but initially, they refused out of fear. Moses replied that this era would by no means enter the promised land, however would wander in the wasteland for 40 years till that technology had died. After 40 years, Moses led a new technology into Canaan, the place he killed the Midianites who have been residing there. It is stated Moses died aged 120 after ascending Mount Nebo, east of the river Jordan. Moses is additionally an influential parent in Christianity. He is often cited in the New Testament, when Jesus Christ experiences a divine transfiguration. He speaks with the prophets, Moses and Elijah. Moses is viewed a saint, in Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic traditions. Moses is additionally an influential parent in Islam. He is regarded as each a prophet and messenger. Thanks for watching, like, comment, share and subscribe. Like it.